This week I'm driving the Mercedes-Benz GLE 53 AMG. If we're looking at the uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, SUV lineup, sometimes it can be a little bit confusing with all the GLE, GLC and all that. Uh, to make it a little bit simpler, I could say, if you're looking more at the car lineup like the Class S, E, C, etc., it's pretty much the same uh, in the SUV lineup, but with the GL. So a GLE, it's about the same size as a Class S. E. Uh, same thing for a GLS, same thing as a Class S. So it's a little bit simpler that way. Uh, so the GLE base model start around 69,000 Canadian. And if you're looking at a base uh, AMG model, uh, it's around 92, 93,000 Canadian. And the model behind me, it's about 106, 107,000 Canadian. So a pretty nice AMG model behind me. Uh, so we'll go a little bit deeper to see if it's worth it. Design-wise, the GLE lineup received a complete redesign in 2020. If we look at this uh, 53 AMG, this one is an AMG model, so everything's a little bit more special, a bit more sport, uh, so it's less rugged than the normal GLE. Uh, the front end, it's more aggressive, more aerodynamic, you got a spatial grille, you've got the AMG badge all around, got the LED headlights. If we step on the side, we've got some 21 inches AMG wheels wrapped with Michelin Sport. A really good tires for an SUV, really good ones. If we uh, look at the line of this GLE, I really like uh, those fender here, a little bit wider in the back, give it more a muscular look, more a wide body in the back, really like that. And finally, in the back, again, you got the AMG badge, the LED uh, signature lighting in the tail lights, and the quad exhaust to hear that AMG rumble. All right, under the hood of this 53 AMG, we can find an inline six three liter turbo from AMG, good for 429 horsepower and 380 four foot pounds of torque this engine is matched to a nine speed transmission and also there's the aq boost it's a 48 volt system it's gonna help uh, this engine to be propelled at low rpm so this mild hybrid system will help you at really low rpm so when you get that turbo lag the eq boost is there to help you uh, get some great launch and also it's more efficient it's also more smooth uh, this system really eliminates all the straps so you get no pulleys and straps and all that so this system is basically a, a starter an alternator and also an electric motor so this system is really in between uh, the engine and the transmission it's going to pump you up about 21 horsepower and 184 foot pounds of torque so this uh, system is kind of uh, you know a technology from the f1 it's not exactly the same but basically it works as the same but for uh, you know a normal joe on the road and to be a bit more efficient so it's nice to see some technology uh you know really taken from the f1 technology the f1 team and put in that suv on the towing side you can tow up to 7700 pounds with this gle even if it's an amg model so that's pretty interesting so there's no really sacrifice on the towing side even if you have more performance with the amg models once inside of the gle 53 amg you find those really comfortable seats with a lot of support a really nice finish also you get that suede you'll find in the seat and also on the roof and on the steering wheel really nice finish really like that steering wheel pretty cool looking steering wheel feel really sport you get some leather finish also on the dash You've got also some really nice finish here in wood. You get, can get also these finish in different colors and also in carbon fiber. Same thing for here. You got those nice handle here with a nice ambient lighting really pops up even at days or at night all around the car. Really nice. If we take a look at this metal console here, really practical you've got a wireless uh, charging station for your phone here you can find some cup holders are going to keep your drink cold or you can keep them warm you've got a little, little switch here that's really cool 
also here in the metal everything is really you know luxury nice just the way this thing is opening up it's really cool same thing for all the buttons and all that here uh, for uh, the seat you know uh, everything it's on uh, the door even when you use the switches for your window you can feel it's luxurious you know just the, the touch of those buttons you can feel it you know you're in something special technology wise you got that really you know large screen with those cluster all digital uh, you can either use a screen by touch just like that or you can use on your steering wheel just like this uh, it's not it's not really a hard button you just need to like really swipe on it or you can use the uh, mouse pad I call it so you put your hand here and you can use it just this way and you can control pretty much everything on your screen this system works better than the control we had previously on Mercedes-Benz uh, it's still a pretty complicated system you know if uh, you're not uh, a younger generation you're an older generation and uh, you start to play with all this tech it can be complicated for older generation something i really like is this steering wheel uh, i like the shape of it i like it square on the bottom with the amg model it's i think it's one of the best looking steering wheel on the market and also it's not too busy with buttons but the buttons are really well made you get those uh really nice uh you know steel uh, paddle shifter really nice to the touch you get that this knob i really like this knob it's really an amg knob so you can switch uh your mode sport mode sport plus and on the other side you can have uh, your individual your uh, snow your trail and also sand it's quick and easy i like that it's the same control you'll find in amg uh, gtr so it's cool to find it inside of a truck like this and finally you've got this control here uh, on my left side uh, this control is really customable uh, so you can really change all you wish so now uh, i put the uh, auto start so just by a quick click i can put it on or off same thing for the exhaust i put the exhaust so uh, just by a quick click i can turn up the exhaust if i don't like those modes i just click here and i can change it for something else traction control just on one click or my suspension so everything is really customable performance wise you know all the gadgets and all that it's really easy to use really fun to use also you can use those hard button here you can control your uh, transmission traction control uh, the height of your suspension your suspension and your exhaust again easy access just by your hand here or on the steering wheel so on this side amg did a really great job All right, behind the wheel of the uh, GLE 53 AMG. First of all, really great suspension on this SUV. You've got a nice mix of air suspension mixed with a sport suspension. Reminds me a little bit of the uh, Grand Cherokee Trackhawk mixed with the Yukon, I could say. So uh, again, with just a switch of a dial, uh, you can tune that suspension as you wish. If you want it harder or more comfortable, Again, because it's an air suspension, the, the truck's gonna raise up and lower down. Mercedes-Benz been really pushing the suspension on this truck and uh, when you're behind the wheel, you can really feel it. Those seats are comfortable, but you know, the magic, it's really in the suspension, the tires and all that. It's really comfortable on the road and great handling again. Uh, right now, uh, the, the, the road I'm, I'm uh, driving on is pretty rough, uh, typical Quebec roads, uh, you know, but still it's really like we're on a cloud. Uh, those new hair suspension on luxury SUVs are really, you know, uh, getting to the next level. Uh, I can really compare this GLE to the new uh, Yukon Denali. Uh, really a smooth ride, but this one is more sport. Obviously, it's an AMG. Uh, performance wise, you know, I was uh, not impressed, I could say. Uh, this, uh, this SUV is pretty quick, you know, you can do the uh, 0 to 100 kilometers in about uh, 5.3 seconds. Uh, it's quick. Uh, it's not the quickest. I, I, I wish I had the uh, 63 model with the uh, V8 uh, B-Turbo. Uh, this one seems to be really quick. 
Uh, this one, you know, this week, uh, we, you know, when you really push it, because uh, this truck's so comfortable, so smooth on the road, you don't feel really the speed. So it doesn't seem really fast, but it kind of is. But again, I wish it would be a little bit quicker than that. Uh, you know, for uh, this amount of money, I, I wish it could have a little bit more performance. But on the handling side and everything else, you know, uh, really great. You got those uh, Michelin tires, they're really sticky uh, when you push it down the curves. Again, with all the AMG modes, you can switch your exhaust and everything. It's great to drive this truck, you know, you can have a little bit some fun. You can hear some popping also from the exhaust. Uh, I like those little things, you know, I, I think that's what really makes an AMG model like this one. So this week I was averaging around 13 to 14 liters per 100 kilometers. It's not that great, but it's okay for this size of uh, SUV, I guess. And again, it's a sport model. Uh, is the EQ boost uh, been uh, changing the result of my fuel economy? I don't think so. The way you know I'm driving, probably, uh, I think it didn't change a lot. Uh, speaking of the EQ boost this week, I feel uh, it's not really well calibrated uh, with the engine, the transmission, all that. Sometimes when I try to get up and go from a red light, uh, the car don't really goes, or sometimes it bogs, or sometimes you know you get that weird shift between the electric and the engine. Uh, I didn't really like that system this week. You know, I prefer probably having a, a big V8 AMG with no electrical system like this. Obviously, you don't have all those belt and pulleys and all that. That's great on this side, you know, and also maintenance-wise. But I think uh, this EQ system needs more calibration and needs to be more seamless uh, when you drive it. If we step in the back, you know, I've got plenty of space for my legs, my head. This is pretty impressive. Uh, this one's a five-seater. Uh, you can have the optional uh, third row. It's about uh, 2,400 bucks option. Uh, you can get those extra seats in the back and uh, these extra seats are really for kids, obviously. But I really like this uh, five-seater. You got a huge trunk, um, decent amount of space. Uh, you know, I think uh, this uh, GLE 53 AMG, it's really a nice size. I like, uh, you know, it's not too big. Uh, it's not too small. Again, you got plenty of space inside to be comfortable. And the, the way, you know, uh, it drives on the road, it's really easy to park and all that. It's not too big. Uh, I really like the size of this truck. So this uh, GLE uh, is equipped with the uh, Formatic Plus. So basically it's the next level in the Formatic's all-wheel drive system. So uh, the uh, Formatic Plus, basically it can put 100% of the power to the rear wheel. So most of the time, this GLE is a rear-wheel drive and not a front-wheel drive putting some juice in the back. Uh, it's not the typical all-wheel drive who's mostly a front-wheel drive and gonna put some power in the back or it's gonna be like more a 50, 50, uh, 40, 60 system. This one's really, it can push all the power in the back. So it's more fun to drive, you get better in lane. Uh, you got a great traction also in, uh, you know, rain or snow condition. Uh, this uh, Formatic Plus is one of my favorite all-wheel drive system. Overall, you know, I had a great time with this uh, a 53 AMG this week. Obviously, I wish I had the 63 AMG with more power. Uh, <laughs> I'm a junkie for horsepower, so I wish I had more horsepower under the hood. Uh, maybe one day I'll try the 63. But overall, the big story about this truck is really the way it drives. It, it's really comfortable. And all the finishes, the attention to detail, everything you touch, it's really luxurious. It feels quality. Uh, there's nothing you look at in this truck who's been left behind. Uh, the lights, you know, uh, the sun visor, everything, everything, you know, it's top notch. Again, this truck can be uh, kind of expensive, but if you don't put all the fancy option, I think uh, this truck can be a great buy. Uh, you know, driving this truck on a daily basis all year round, summertime, wintertime, I think it's a great buy. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. We're gonna see each other on the next review.